Hello listeners. Welcome back to Storytime FM. Today we are looking through r slash askredit. What's a movie you love that you swear no one ever talks about like the world has forgotten it? Here is our first comment. The Pink Panther strikes again, does your dog bite? No, dog snarls and bites him. I thought you said your dog doesn't bite? That is not my dog. Let's take a look at some other comments. Thank you for smoking. Gross point blank. Hitman goes to high school reunion. Aside from one instance on Reddit, I've never heard a single person talk about the 2005 movie Robots. It's got adult jokes that kids won't catch, a lot of humor, and Robin Williams. We're back. That weird talking Dino movie starring John Goodman. Let's take a look at some other comments. Mouse Hunt Nathan Lane, Lee Evans, Christopher Walken in one of his best roles one of my childhood favorites. Balto. Which I could have sworn was massively popular. When people started talking about the Swan Princess again randomly, I assumed Balto would be next as they were two of my favorites as a kid. Yet when I mentioned it to my friends and such, no one recalled it. Also please let me mention the Tenth Kingdom which is technically a series. Ah suck an elf. ETA. Thank you for the awards. The comments, quotes, and similar feelings of Tenth Kingdom being a fever dream make me so happy. P.S. The Tenth Kingdom is indeed on Amazon Prime for free. I re-watched it recently as an adult and that's when I learned it was a series with a lot more innuendos that I didn't get as a kid and not a long movie. ETA 2. You are all amazing and now I want a sub for the Tenth Kingdom x Balto. Especially because I really want to discuss how the dad should have made better wishes in the Tenth Kingdom. I have a lot I want to ask about it in general. And now I have two movies added to my list from the comments along with plenty of links for more information to read. Thank you. This community of Baltoyans and Tenth Kingdomers, IDK, has really brightened my week. Short Circuit. Literally everyone that I talk to has never watched it, or heard of it. It's sad too, because I love that movie so much. So I married an axe murderer. Let's take a look at some other comments. Zathura 100% If you haven't seen it, it's like Jumanji but in space. It's made by the same creator. If you have seen it, tell me I am not alone. I searched and didn't find it, so batteries not included. It's a cute little 80s movie about some alien robots who took up residence in this old apartment complex and when the residents are threatened with eviction so the place could be torn down, the robots help the tenants and the tenants help the robot aliens. Anyways, I enjoyed it. Secondhand Lions Strange Brew. Bob and Doug McKenzie's crowning achievement. Here are some more comments I found. Fly Away Home. Was obsessed with it and it is never mentioned. Was it a fever dream? Pleasantville. Flight of the Navigator. The Cutting Edge. Let's see what other comments there are. Evolution, by the late Ivan Reitman, with David Duchovny and Julianne Moore. Stardust The Gods Must Be Crazy The Court Jester. I've never met anyone outside of my family who has even heard of it. It's really old so I understand why but it's a shame more people haven't seen it. Edit. You guys have made me so frickin' happy. I didn't expect any response to this. Here are some more comments I found. Enemy Mine. 
the end scene still gets me. The birdcage A fish called Wanda. I don't know anyone IRL, under the age of 40, that knows this movie. It's one of the funniest movies ever. My favorite Kevin Klein movie, hand down. Drop Dead Gorgeous. M-O-A-S-T-S-M-A-E-R-T-E-S-T. -E -E Let's take a look at some other comments. Mystery Men. The Borrowers. The Great Mouse Detective. Hoodwinked. Let's see what some other people wrote. Secret Garden, 1993. Death Becomes Her. My all-time fav movie, amazing cast and plot but I have never found a single soul who would praise it with me skeptical smiley face. Down Periscope Rat Race Let's take a look at some other comments. Treasure Planet Death to Smoochie Drop Dead Fred, that's not how the pigeons do it. Cobwebs, absolutely fell in love with Rick Mile from the very first time I saw that movie. SLC Punk Let's see what other comments there are. Constantine with Keanu Reeves and Rachel Weiss. Love that movie, but no one ever seems to know what I'm talking about loudly crying. Nine, directed by Shane Acker, produced by Tim Burton. I thought it was amazing, but the only time K bring it up, 90% of people have never heard of it, the other 10% hate it. It sucks, but I'm convinced I'm the only fan of that movie. It was so different and dark. And the cast was amazing, it was a fantastic adult animated tale. It just sucks no one is ever able to fanboy over it with me. Edit. Wow this blew up. Glad the movie has a lot of fans. Also, edited the original post to who actually directed, produced the movie. Didn't realize Burton only produced it. The Secret of NIMH The Last Unicorn Let's see what other comments there are. Ladyhawk Major Pain Fern Gully The Prince of Egypt. I think the main reason people don't give this movie a chase is because of its biblical basis, but oh my word that animation and score is some top tier stuff. It definitely needs more attention. Let's see what other comments there are. An American Tale. Fievel Goes West Time Bandits, It's My Family's Favorite The Swan Princess Frailty, 2001 Let's take a look at some other comments. Better Off Dead Real Genius, featuring a young Val Kilmer and William Atherton, a.k.a. Walter Peck in Ghostbusters. Space Hunter. Adventures in the Forbidden Zone, 1983. An Ivan Reitman film, with Molly Ringwald and Ernie Hudson, among others. Edit. Happy to have sparked so much nostalgia in my fellow Redditors, over Real Genius, primarily. I've never gotten so many comments in response. Murder by Death. Everyone always talks about Clue but neglects this classic. They make a great double feature of murder mystery comedies. 
also Fatal Instinct, a terrific spoof, from when spoofs were good. Big Fish. Came out in 2003 and never hear anyone talk about it anymore but I loves it. Let's see what other comments there are. Raising Arizona. Stranger Than Fiction. I love everything about this movie. I never understood why it wasn't more popular except for it being so different from most other movies. The Last Unicorn, Milo and Otis, Anastasia Childhood Staples of Mine. Honestly I'm surprised that when people talk about Robin Williams they hardly ever mention the movie Good Morning Vietnam. That was one of his best movies emo. R.I.P. to the best. Here are some more comments I found. Empire Records Now and Then, 1995 Let's see what other comments there are. Lost Boys One Thing I Never Could Stomach About Livin' in Santa Carla, All the Damn Vampires We're out of comments for today. Join us tomorrow for some more comments. In the meantime, leave a comment with your stories and thoughts below. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see more. Until next time, listeners.